Hey guys, so as many of you know, as a cooling solution, most laptop designs include shared heat pipes between the CPU and the GPU. This is particularly a problem for laptops running 8th gen Intel processors and high boost clocks, as these CPUs generate lots of heat, in turn passing it on to the GPU. Often, to cope with this excess heat, the GPU responds by downclocking its core to prevent overheating, and this is what often causes severe drops in frame rate. Couple this with the CPU itself severely power throttling to less than 15 watts at times in order to get its temperatures under control, and this can further worsen your gaming experience. So, how does one cope with this? Well, for starters, I'm sure most, if not all of you, are running throttle stop to undervolt your CPU. If not, do go check out Bob of all trades. He has a perfect explanation on how to go about it. Throttle stop has a very nifty feature that allows you to adjust the max CPU frequencies for your system while running on AC power. Open up throttle stop and click on the FIVR button towards the bottom center. Once there, you can see four radio buttons on your top left, performance, game, internet, and battery. For this, we will be editing the game profile. So click on the game button and go down to the turbo ratio limits. To adjust all of them at once, select the back arrow on the one core active row and reduce the value until you get to about 30, which will equate to a max CPU turbo boost of 3000 MHz or 3 GHz. Click on the reset turbo button, then press OK. Try out this new setting on your game and monitor the CPU temperature and clock speed using software like MSI Afterburner and you will most likely see your CPU running cooler than ever before. I will use Far Cry 5 for this test because of its relatively high CPU demands. Thereafter, you can tinker with the max CPU clock until you arrive at a value that gives you the best performance to thermals ratio, based on your particular system as well as ambient temperature. Once you discover the sweet spot, Keep selecting this gaming profile on throttle stop before every gaming session to ensure a seamless, consistent gaming experience. With the above tips, I am sure you will finally be able to get your gaming system running cooler than ever before. And unless you notice GPU bottlenecking due to the lower CPU clock speed, the performance trade-off is not actually that large. In some cases, you may actually notice some performance gain. In case of any questions or comments, do feel free to reach out below. I am always happy to respond. Thanks for watching and happy gaming.